Hello everybody, welcome back! The recent DC fandom satisfied us with the new exciting trailers, and of course, the one for the upcoming Batman movie directed by Matt Reeves is certainly worth your attention. However, what do you know about this film? Take your seat and watch the video to discover the latest news about the new Batman movie as well as get acquainted with a detailed trailer review. Take into account that the film director provided the fans with tons of different facts related to the movie. Right now, we'll analyze and recollect the most important ones. First of all, Reeves confirmed that we'll see Batman during the second year of his attempts to fight against the criminals in Gotham. According to Matt's words, although the superhero has gained the experience necessary to protect his city, he'll be making various mistakes. Plus, Batman will need to take part in the investigation of the string of murders. The crimes are made by the mysterious Riddler, aka Paul Dano, who has just realized himself as a villain. At the same time, it's difficult to say whether he'll be a totally bad guy. The film director will show the problem of methods used by both Riddler and Batman in order to stop corruption and criminals. In addition, we'll be constantly facing the questions, what is good? and what is evil. Besides, the movie will show us the origins of such famous DC characters as Catwoman and Penguin, played by talented Zoe Kravitz and Colin Farrell. Of course, there is a chance that we'll see even more well-known personalities. What's more, the film director has alluded that the crimes will be directly related to Bruce Wayne's family. Also, we'll see the citizens of Gotham, who are afraid of Batman. Further, some of them will be considering him just a myth used to scare the criminals. Besides, Reeves has confirmed one-year work on the concept and details of the Batmobile and Batman's costume. The film director was trying to realize the idea of a real-life superhero. He was encouraged by such films as Taxi Driver, Chinatown, and The French Connection. During the movie, we'll see the smooth progress of the character. Batman will be trying not only to correct his mistakes, but also to improve his armor. In addition, Matt Reeves gave special consideration to Gotham City and its unique atmosphere. Due to it, the shooting took place in the UK, New York, and Chicago. Plus, Reeves informed that he and his team shot only 25% of the movie. The interesting fact is that Matt is also working on a TV series about the Gotham Police Department. It'll become the official spin-off to the movie. The TV series will show us the events that have happened during the first year of Batman's crackdown on criminals. It's also known that it'll be released exclusively for HBO Max subscribers. That's all the news about the upcoming Batman movie. And now, let's have a look at the new trailer and try to discover something interesting there. Firstly, the trailer shows us how Riddler is killing someone. As you can see, the DC villain doesn't have the iconic costume and stick. According to one of the theories, Riddler's family suffered from corruption in Gotham. It led to the introduction of a new villain and the beginning of cruel murders. We can see how James Gordon, aka Jeffrey Wright, starts investigating the crime scene, and it looks like he maintains good relationships with Batman. In addition, the trailer provides a new look at Bruce Wayne's suit. Although the new bat suit looks like a reliable armor, its cowl and cape seem to be made of leather. Consider that the green letter addressed to Batman is a pleasant nod to the events from DC Comics. Riddler often sent various letters with mysteries, which were useful for Batman's investigations. And this one includes the picture of a skeleton, which may be related to the face-painted gang showed later in the trailer. In addition, you may notice a picture of an owl. Probably, it's a great easter egg referencing the Court of Owls. The letter includes printed text, which says, From your secret friend. Who? Haven't a clue? Let's play a game, just me and you. At the same time, there is a handwritten note which asks a question. What does liar, when, dead? And the answer to it is, he lies still. It was hidden in the puzzle at the bottom of the letter. As you can see, these strange symbols are used for alphabetic substitution cipher. Luckily, some fans managed to solve this mystery. However, still, the question is, who is the killed man? Unfortunately, the victim's face is covered with scotch tape. At the same time, there's a phrase saying, no more lies. The wall with newspapers is covered with the word lies. Probably, the news is related to the third re-election of Gotham Mayor Don Mitchell Jr. This fact makes him a possible victim. 
maybe it'll turn out that he has been a rogue politician. Besides, the trailer shows his portrait during the funeral scene. Another interesting fact is that on one of the walls, we can see the newspaper telling us that Don Maroney has been busted for drug transportation. Maybe he became one of Batman's early targets. Also, don't forget that Maroney's rival, Don Carmine Falcone, aka John Turturro, will also appear in the movie as one of Batman's enemies. During the funeral scene, Bruce saves a child from a car that suddenly bursts into the church. It looks like the car is painted with the letters DOA. Also, probably the driver has a second Riddler's letter for Batman taped to the man's chest. Besides, the cell phone taped to his hand and bomb collar make it obvious that the man has been forced to drive the car in order to interrupt the memorial service. We can see that the superhero didn't manage to defuse the bomb and probably it'll be one of his mistakes mentioned by Matt Reeves. Consider that the trailer also showed us a new character, Commissioner Pete Savage, played by Alex Ferns. He has been introduced especially for this film, and right now it's difficult to predict his role in the story. The Batman trailer also offers a first look at Selina Kyle, aka Catwoman. She's trying to open a safe with the help of her burglar skills. However, it's possible to notice that Selina doesn't have her cat costume. Instead of it, she wears a cloth mask with small, subtle peaks that look like cat ears. Besides, the trailer shows her fighting skills during the battle with Batman, who probably has interrupted her illegal activity. What's more, everything looks like Selina is trying to break a safe located in the Don Mitchell's apartment. Probably you may not have noticed Colin Farrell playing scarred Oswald Cobblepot due to his amazing transformation. The movie will show him trying to reach the top in the criminal world of Gotham. Consider that he hasn't turned into a serious crime leader known as Penguin yet. Due to one of the scenes, it's possible to conclude that the police officers won't trust Batman and even may accuse him of murder. Luckily, James Gordon will help the superhero to avoid the conflict and escape with the help of Batclaw. Further, have you noticed someone shooting Batman? Luckily, a bullet ricocheted off the superhero's armor. And of course, it's impossible not to mention the design of a new Batmobile that looks awesome and realistic. The Batcave also looks less sophisticated than the ones we've been used to seeing in other Batman movies. Actually, it resembles an ordinary garage, but not a secret superhero's headquarters. Worthy of separate attention is the scene where Bruce Wayne beats up the leader of the white painted face gang. Probably you'll get goosebumps while watching it. And have you noticed Batman's phrase, I'm vengeance? I'm vengeance. It's a direct reference to the old animated movie about the adventures of the Gotham Knight. I am vengeance. I am the Knight. I am Batman. According to the words of Andy Serkis, who will appear in the movie playing Alfred Pennyworth, the new Batman will be crueler, more brutal, and darker than any of its predecessors. Moreover, we realize that the film will be full of noir and a mysterious atmosphere. Consider that the release of the new Batman movie is expected on the 1st of October 2021. What are your expectations and thoughts about the new Batman movie? Please don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe.